like Dumbledore's death. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this video is gonna be read Fourth Wing with me. I know I'm late to the game. I've been waiting to read this book. I got this book in January and I've just had it cooking, cooking, cooking. Well, I already started reading. I'm on like page 20. JK, I'm on page 30. I started reading it at my hair appointment. It is very good so far. It took me a little bit to get into the first chapter, but at the same time, it was kind of, you jumped right into the story, which I really liked. I'm having a very hard time pronouncing the names. I apologize, my dog is making a sound. I find it a little bit hard to pronounce the names, <laughs> but other than that, it's been really good. I'm super excited to finish this book. Apparently the ending's amazing, but I'm a little nervous for the second book because I've heard that the second book is actually not that good. But I'm just going to go in with an open mind. I'm not that picky when it comes to reading, so I feel like I'll still like it. But yeah, I will probably have some spoilers in it in this video, so just a trigger warning. But basically, the first thing I want to say is she is going to be a dragon rider because her family has a lineage of that. But she was supposed to be a scribe like her f father. Her mom's like forcing her to become a dragon rider and she's like not built for it. She doesn't feel confident in it. And in order to be a dragon rider, you have to like do all these tasks and you have to bond with the dragon. And it's really common for people to die on the way to the top to get a dragon, like literally and figuratively to the top. And if you fall, you die. Hi guys, I'm currently at my cottage right now and I'm still reading Fourth Wing. I'm at like page, I wanna say 40. I was really interested in it when I was at the hair salon this Tuesday, it's now Saturday. Um, but I've been I'm getting into the groove of work. So every single time I come home from like hanging out with my friends after work, I'm so dead. I literally just turn off my phone and go to bed. I haven't really had time to read or the mental capacity to read a fantasy because I feel like a fantasy like Especially at the start of the book, you're just really trying to understand the world. This is my view. It's so nice. I'm sensing a love triangle. Page 48. It's getting good. I just am having a hard time focusing. It's not like the book isn't good. It's just hard to focus. What the flip is up, Poop Nation? So today is now Thursday. I'm only like 80 pages in, 70 if that. Uh, I cannot breathe right now. <sighs> anyway, today I canceled on my cousin. Sorry, Caitlin. I was so exhausted. So I'm just gonna read by the pool and swim for a bit. Don't forget to apply oh, sunscreen, y'all. so thankful that I'm able to do this. Hey guys, so it's now Saturday. I'm hoping to read a lot today. Um, I'm going to get my nails done, so hopefully I can read during my toe pedicure. The toe pedicure? Like girl, what was that on? <laughs> yes. I've not read this book in a couple days. I'm ready to crack down, I'm on 124 but it's actually getting very good.
to leave for work, but this scene is so tea. I'm at the part when they're at the dragon ceremony, like they're picking their dragons. And it's after the dragons picked her. And Dane, and I forget how to pronounce it, Aiden, Aiden the guy with the X that starts his name. It's so teal. I really wish I wasn't leaving for work right now so I could keep reading, but I can't. Y'all, rant time. Um, this is gonna be spoilers, but Dane, <coughs> disgusting. Like, he just said something that was so out of pocket. Like, I, I was at first shipping Dane and her because I'm like, that's cute, but no. Yo, I'm not done the book yet. I'm probably halfway right now, and it is so good. Yeah, no complaints. I love how there's like challenges and stuff. I'm like reading at the edge of my seat. Guys, I got my whistling teeth out, but I'm still reading I'm on page 321. I'm almost done. Okay, everyone, I'm on page four, or 385. I apologize for the loud car sound. Basically, this book is getting good. She finally got her power. You can tell that there's something about to go down. You can also, uh, the main character and the guy are now like a thing. I'm loving it. Her dragon and her are becoming BFFs. It's just amazing. I have like a hundred pages left. I think that her being in love with the guy is a little too soon because I feel like all we see is them just like hating each other. Something happens, a little physicality happens and then she's in love with him. Like, I don't really get it. They hang out a lot, but I feel like their interactions could have been a little bit more deep because I'm like, how do you love him? Like you barely know him. Y'all. I'm almost on this book. <laughs> One of my faves is gonna die. <sighs> I was not expecting that at all. <sighs> Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> this is like Dumbledore's death. I haven't cried this hard in a book in a long time. to get clearance I am not okay I literally was not expecting that I thought it was gonna be someone else I just reread a line I'm not okay it's like every time I think that it's like gonna chill out it doesn't there's another punch in the face the end of this book the last hundred pages page turner holy cow and also i apologize my neighbor's playing music right now so if you hear that ah, i'm almost done y'all and it's crazy in this beat i just finished the book omg guys fourth wing does not play it's been i think five 
six days since I finished fourth wing and now I'm like collecting all my thoughts. Basically, this, in my opinion, is a five star read. I was easily entertained. When you first start the book, you start off kind of in a midst of an argument and you're like, what's going on? But then you figure out, you learn, you figure out what the world is. And this world, I would describe it, it's like divergent with How to Train Your Dragon. I think it's like very dystopian. I really like it a lot. I really like the underplot of romance with this like crazy plot that unfolds, which I was kind of seeing it. I knew it was gonna unfold around like halfway because there was hints and stuff, but I was excited to read about it. I probably wasn't hooked though until like page like 150, so. It took me a bit. I was interested in it, but like, I was really tired some nights, so I wouldn't read it. But then after 150, I was reading it like every night. Yeah, the last like 100 pages, 150 pages are so good. I'm pretty sure I read it all in one day because that's how good it was. It's just like, like I said, when I was like crying, it's like a punch in the face every friggin' five pages because you figure out something or something happens. It's crazy. The literal last page of the book, do not flip to it and read it. I know some people like to read the last page of the book before they start reading. Do not do it. It literally, the craziest plot twist, I was not expecting that at all. Maybe some people were, but for me, I was like, dang, I was not expecting that. So I thought that was really good. I hope you guys enjoy and I hope you guys have a great day.